Hey, <clears throat> woo, hey everybody. Okay, I was checking the webcam to make sure I was on and that you could hear me. So I hope everybody's having a great Wednesday or hump day. But yeah, hey, I'm Heather and we come to you live each and every day. So you learn more and more about Luminous, what we have to offer, um, how to do it, how to apply it, all the good stuff. And um, it's a way to ask questions. It's a way to come on and say, hey, I'm having trouble with this. Or what do you do about this? Even if it's not what we're discussing at the time, you can still ask questions. And we know that there are, um, you know, people here or that are on that are all different levels. And so we want to be here to answer any questions. So we always go over the starter kit. Good morning, Zandra. How are you? Hello, hello. Uh, let me get find our circuit. There we go. Um, all right. This is our icon. We also have the icon pro. And then of course we have the legend and then the breeze. Um, and the breeze is what I'll be using today. And it all comes with makeup. Um, it all comes with everything you need to get started. So my whole thing when you first get it is get the foundation out and start there. Get the practice. Um, hello, Jeannie. Get the practice. Get the get it all going. Um, because once you get the, the art of airbrushing down, it doesn't matter what's in your stylus or your breeze you can do it and so practice is key when airbrushing and so it does come with the foundation it comes with the blush and love and this is how i want you to start Where is it? okay there it is these are some steps that you can start when um and kind of you know when you look for whatever the word is look for when airbrushing Guys, I cannot stress this enough. Obviously, this is a different way of applying makeup, not only by the application, but how it goes on your skin, how it's going to work is different. So don't base your decision on the first time you use it, because chances are you're not going to be an expert the very first time you use it. And so that's why practicing is key. And I'm not saying practice for 30 days and you'll get, no, I'm saying if you do these things that we have right here, you will be able to do it. So you do want to keep your stylus moving. We are not covering every inch of our face. Okay. You're going to keep that stylus moving with traditional makeup. We are used to going, you know, like cover, 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 cover. And that's not how Luminous works. So keep that stylus moving. You're going to get your coverage by making passes. So once you make one full pass, you can go in my problem areas are like my lids under my eyes in this area and then keep making the passes. You also want to keep it four finger widths away from your face. Chances are when you turn this on, you're either going to do this because there's wind blowing at your face or you're going to go like this because we're used to touching our face. Good morning, Martin. Good morning, Cindy. Stop spraying. I got to breeze. Um, Judy says, why does my airbrush stop spraying? I got the breeze. Um, hmm. Good morning, Stephanie. Um, so Judy, a couple questions, does it like turn off because there is a timer? Um, and this is the type of airbrush these are that we have. Good morning, Muzi. The air comes out and then you are releasing the makeup with this little trigger right here. And so you're going to pull down super light on the trigger. You are, when you're applying the foundation or applying anything, you are never going to pull back all the way. Um, so that would be my first thing um, is, is to ask how exactly it's not spraying. Um, now, going back to this, you're going to keep it four finger widths away. So what I would do is look in the mirror and practice just using the air. I'm not pulling back on the trigger. 
I'm just using the air and then every so often I'm going to check to make sure I'm four finger widths away from my face. That is the distance that you want to be when applying it. And again, never ever be in one. You're not going to do this. There is overlap, but you keep that stylus moving. And then the other way you're going to keep practicing is to barely pull back on this trigger. I highly suggest starting and airbrushing water on your face. Water weighs <clears throat> heavier than the makeup. And so your face is going to be wet, but it will get you used to what you're supposed to do. And so it'll make it easier on you when airbrushing. All right. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. All right. Um, oh, Jeannie on YouTube said airbrush was so different, but she learned listening to me. Um, and she had it down in just days. And, and that's what I'm telling you guys. And I can say this till I'm blue in the face, but you are barely going to pull back on this trigger. And nine times out of 10, nine times out of 10, when people first start doing it, if I saw you doing it, I would still say pull back on the trigger, no matter how many times I've done this. And I've done it for lots of years. Um, make sure the charge is full, the breeze is fully charged. Um, once a week, Cindy, that's a great, um, a, a great suggestion. I always tell people, I'm like, the hardest thing with the breeze is remembering where you left the charger. You do want to charge the breeze once a week, once a week, because the charge will last. And there's really no indication as far as like, it doesn't do it softly or, um, you know, like it, you can't feel it in the, the air. It'll just shut down. And so make sure it is charged. When you charge it back here, this light is going to flash. When it's fully charged, it's solid. And so that's when you know that it is completely charged. Um, how many drops? Judy's asking how many drops in the breeze. Judy, it depends on the amount of coverage that you want, but it should never be more than eight drops total. I'm not talking eight drops at a time. I'm talking eight drops total should give you the full amount of coverage that you need. You should never go over that. Um, and if you are in the beginning, that's okay. But when practicing and when using that air, it's not a free for all. So you're not doing this. Okay. The moves are very deliberate. They're, you're covering your face, you're covering your chin, you're covering your forehead. You're so the moves are very deliberate. We just need to make sure to um, just maybe slow it down. A lot of times people want to do it faster and you don't want to do it fast. You want to keep, keep a good steady movement, but you don't have to do it super fast. All right. I'm going to add glow and I'm going to use that to highlight underneath my eyes, turning this on, uh, fill the air. I'm going to go under my eyes as soon I make the movements first. And then I pull down on my trigger. Okay. I applied some. Is it that noticeable? Not yet. Because that first pass, every pass is very light. I'm going to want more coverage and more um, highlight underneath my eyes. So now I'm going to go back and do that. Cindy said, also remember that it doesn't turn on while charging. I didn't know that. Thank you, Cindy. I'm going to go my nose a little bit. I'm just kind of doing the coverage, like concentrating on those areas that I need more coverage. Because I think this is the other, I was thinking about this the other day. Uh, when we did that um, yesterday, when we did half correct airbrushing and half not correct airbrushing, um, one thing I should have done that day is um, wiped it off. <laughs> it was so gross. It it was a lot, guys. It was a lot. I mean, I did this and it was awful. 
And so even with that, it shows you like you're not using the same amount of makeup. With airbrush, you're using 10 times less makeup, 10 times less makeup. So think about that when making those passes. You know, this is dry. It's not wet feeling. Now, in the beginning, it might feel a little sticky or a little wet. That's okay. The more you practice, the better you're going to get. And if it is a little sticky, take your finger off the trigger and just use the air to dry where, you know, wherever you need it. Okay. But know that that's what you're going to get to. All right. So now I'm going to go in with my shade three. <laughs> All right. Yeah. JD really wants, I keep on forgetting. I need to remember that. These little baby hairs are really bothering me right now. Um, she wants me to do that reversed makeup. All right. I'm going straight to my foundation after I need a Kleenex because this eye is watering. All right. So now I put five drops of my foundation. Actually, I, put, I think I put six, six drops of my foundation in my stylus. I'm going to start off with one full pass. All right. So turning my system on, hold it. Your hand just kind of fits in there. Your index finger is what's going to pull back on this trigger. Make sure it's always, the airbrush is always facing you, not shooting off to the side. Make sure it's directly at you and make sure it stays level whether it's the breeze or whether you have the icon and or legend and you're using a stylus, make sure it's always level and shooting directly at you. So I'll start for um, one spot, make my movements. Now I'm pulling back on the trigger. I feel the coolness. Notice I'm not moving. Keep your eyes open. I did, Jeannie. Thank you for noticing. I did get my hair colored last night. <laughs> if you looked at yesterday's, you I had like my um my gray was horrible. I was like, please. <laughs> Martin said she looked like a crazy woman for Halloween. So notice my eyes are open. Again, when you're practicing with just the air, it's going to get you used to having that soft kiss of air blowing at you. Um, some questions that we receive uh, are would be like, um, oh, is that going to spray in my eyes? Um, is it going to get on my contacts? It is only going there, guys, if you point it there. Okay. When practicing with just the air and I'm four finger whiffs away, I feel air here to here. So that is your brush. The air is your brush, your air brush. Okay. So the air are, is your bristles. Just like if I was doing this, wherever you feel that air is where the makeup's going. Now I am using the rose four in one. I'm just going to go make passes to get, okay, go around here and then blend it down my neck. And guys, thank you yesterday for, um, there, were, we had a lot of shares yesterday. I really appreciate that. Cause I know my whole job is to make you love airbrush to get you to the point, not make you but get you to the point where you love airbrush. And when you share that matters because there might be people out there that don't know how to airbrush that bought the system. And they're like, Oh, I want to learn this. I want to do it. But they don't, um, they don't know how, because again, another thing happens is that people get this home and all the ones that have used it before y'all can testify to this. You get it home and you use it like traditional makeup. And we don't want to do that. Um, it makes sense because you only know traditional makeup. And that's why I'm saying like practice. And 
and how it goes on your face is different than traditional makeup not just how we put it on but how it feels and how it looks is different okay it is night and day so don't think traditional makeup think all right i'm actually going to mix because i know Jeannie loves this we're going to mix some blush and i'm going to do blush after my foundation i love doing my blush before my foundation normally because and i'm mixing these two together because it's just a softer blush look can y'all see that how it mixes it's called back bubbling and i'm going in there boop, 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 boop. okay so now I mix soft rose and natural blush. And I'm going to feel the air. When I say it like that, that means I've said it before. Um, I'm going to feel the air. I feel the air on my cheeks. I can come in a little closer. You, when doing the blush, you can come into about three fingers. And then I feel the air making my moves. And now I'm lightly pulling back on my trigger. Okay. See it? Ooh. Is that as much as I want it? No. But I'm going to go over to the other side and work on this side for a second. See how light. You should never see it go Whoa, like a pop, like where it just goes that color. I call it a hot spot. Whether it's a long hot spot or a short hot spot, never. This is how light you're spraying. Guys, this is what's in. That's what's in my stylus, okay, or my breeze. So notice you don't see that. You're going to see it gradual. Just like I'm doing my blush, that's exactly how you want your foundation to go on as well. My first try with airbrush, it was so thick, it didn't, it didn't dry. <laughs> That's what, how I felt yesterday. That's what, when I was doing it the wrong way. Look how beautiful that is. Love it. You know what I'm going to do? Because this is watering, my eyes watering. Because Lord knows I love my allergies. I'm going to do some on my eye. I had a little left over. Thank you, Judy. Look how beautiful that is. Guys, this is the blush. And you want to talk practice below some of that blush on your eyeballs. Now, because I am closer and only in this area, I'm going to use, and because my eyes watering, I'm using the air just to dry it a little. And I'm just going to be real with y'all right now. Let's just be real. Let's just, let's just take it on and, and let's be real. Gosh, this air guys feels amazing. <laughs> so I don't know why, but bathrooms are always so hot that, oh, it just feels so good. I've done that too. Cindy, you've done that as well. My eye is watering. All right. So I'll have to dress that later. <laughs> All right. Look how nice that pop of color is coming in. And guys, if you're not a makeup person, you're like, I'm just starting out. This is a great way to do your eyes. Hey, I did it with my blush and my eyes. Throw mascara on lips. Done. Done. So you don't have to make this big ordeal and spend, you know, an hour doing your makeup. Airbrush makeup is going to cut your getting ready time in half, in half. Be, not only, you're not having to dig for brushes. Oh, is this brush even clean? I don't even know when, when I cleaned it last. You are doing it so, you're, you're just going to be able to go boom, 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 boom and not have to um, 
even think about. I mean, you're, you're going to be able to do it now in the beginning. Yeah, it might take you a little bit, but it will become the distance, the movement, the pulling back of the trigger is going to become second nature to you when you are practicing. And I do suggest this a lot. Practice with water, practice airbrushing water on your face. What you're going to learn is, oh, wait, there is a difference when I pull all the way back versus when I'm barely pulling back. I can hear it. Oh, I definitely can feel it. My face is like instant wet or, okay, it's, it's a little, you know, it's a little wet. You can see if we were all in a room and I closed my eyes and we were airbrushing one, I could tell you who was spraying too hard. And two, I could tell you who was out of makeup. And so you'll start listening for those, those key um, things. Hey, Bambi, good morning. I'm about to sneeze. Hold on. Um, you'll start listening for, for those things. And I promise it will become second nature. So practice with airbrush. It is key because guys, you have been doing traditional makeup up until this point. So 10, 20, 30, 40 years, you've been doing traditional makeup. Now we're doing airbrush makeup. You are doing it a different way. You are not touching your face. You are blowing the airbrush makeup on. It goes on so light that you don't even hardly feel it. You feel the air, but then you feel some coolness. So it's going to take you a second to, to get it. To, so don't get frustrated in the beginning if you're like, oh, I can't do this. No, no, you can't. I couldn't the first time I did it. If you only, if you base your conclusions on first try, come on. Were you an expert driver the very first time you drove? No. Were you an expert the very first time you threw a ball? No. You're going to have to practice, guys. You're going to have to practice. And it is going to feel amazing on your face. It is going to feel amazing. It's going to feel like your, your face. But it does take some practice. Um, oh, Mary, I love you. Thank you for jumping in. Thank you loving my look. Um, and even Mary, Mary's a long time user and she says you will love airbrush for sure. Once you play with it. And I like what she says about play with it, play with it. Don't even think of it as practice. You can just have some fun and play with it. I tell people this a lot of times that when I first started my, uh, one of my good girlfriends, her boyfriend let me airbrush him because I wanted to see. Um, now I was learning to airbrush on people, um, airbrushing yourself is, is going to be different because you're not necessarily going to see it go on, but it is a little bit different, but my, he let me airbrush him and I learned so much cause I played with it. I had fun. I filled in his eyebrows with foundation. I filled in his lips with foundation and just to play with it. Okay. What happens if I held it the forefinger was at the correct distance, but what happens if I just didn't move it? What happened? All those things are going to help you. So if you have somebody that you can practice on, do it because it is, um, it's very nice. And Oh, Cindy, I love that. Cindy says practice before washing your face at night. Great thing. I always tell you guys do something different before, um, you wash your face off for the night, like whether it's a smoky eye, red lip or whatever, but yes, practice. Don't practice when you're going, you're late for a meeting. Okay. No, don't do that. Practice before going to bed. That way you're washing your face anyway. It doesn't matter, but start practicing. And again, I'm not saying practice for 45 days and you'll love it. Nope. You're going to practice. You're going to love it. I'm going to add some more colors to my eye. Um, oh, Mary, I like that too. She says, Mary says, um, yes, enjoy it. You, you will love doing your makeup again when you start having fun with it. And that's the one thing I always try different. I do try different foundations and different things, different 
whatever, because I want to see how it compares to Luminous, how it goes on. Can I use this with Luminous? Can I do this with Luminous? Okay. What if I use a regular concealer? How does that concealer look different than my airbrush? Concealer? So I try different things you, and you got to experience it, but don't base any conclusions on the first time. If you're not airbrushing correctly, you're not going to love airbrush. So make sure you're airbrushing correctly. Now I'm going to go in. Yep. Yeah, uh, Mary said it will be easier than regular makeup once you get it down. And it's so true. <laughs> Cindy's like, no more clown face. Yeah, I did see a um, somebody on, I think it might've been TikTok. I don't know why these little hairs are bothering me. Um, and she did the blush. I, I wish a warning label came with our blush um about how bright our blush can get and so you are only going to use two drops of our blush if you use more than that um then you're gonna look crazy you will look like a clown face so only use two drops of that blush and again you want to spray it super soft and i tell people get it to the point where you almost love the blush and then stop because the blush will come it will bloom all right, I'm going to add just a little bit of um, a matte color in my crease right on top of what I've already done. My roommate did. Did I just read that right? <laughs> uh, I don't think I could do that. I don't think I could do that. Um, I've heard about honey, like you can do local honey and that helps. Uh, Mary, if you're still on, I'm going to reach out to you today. All right, I'm going to blend this, blend this, go back and forth and blending, blending. Uh, Judy, Judy. You are, you get best question of the day, uh, best questions of the day. Um, I love Judy's questions because you can tell like she's, she's trying to use it. She's, a, she's like, she bought in like she's, she, as I like to say, you drank the Kool-Aid. Um, and so, yeah. So Judy says, uh, what if you get a cake spot, um, while, um, doing the makeup? And that's a great question. There's no mistakes with airbrush. So if you do get a hot, we call it a hot spot, but I like the cake spot. You can avoid that by making the movements first and lightly pulling back on the trigger. But if you do get that of makeup where it's that, um, that hot spot, tap it out. Because if you get a hot spot, it, that means there's too much makeup right there. And so just tap it out. If you are getting streaks, that means you're not doing one of those three things. You're either not moving fast enough, or maybe you're too close. So it's showing streaks. Um, but if it's just a bloop hot spot, um, tap it out. A lot of times when um, spraying under the eyes, when airbrushing under the eyes, um, it's hard to get at first. Not hard, but you got to like pace it out. But so, cause I'm very self-conscious about under my eyes. So if I do under my eyes and then I look in the mirror and it looks too cakey, I tap it out. You could also do like a, a blender if you needed to, but tap it out. Never rub it because we don't want to rub. Um, <laughs> she's like, that. you'll hear me say that. I, in fact, I think at one time, Mary, weren't we going to uh, make a song about it? We were going to be like the tap out song any time and i've demonstrated where i did a little bit of glow like right here and did it too hot too much where it was a a hot spot and all i did was tap it out <laughs> mary's like i still tap out to this day um i'm gonna blend 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 all right i am gonna do a little bit underneath i haven't done that in a while and i guys i always what's wrong with let me do this one. Um, I use eyeshadow as my eyeliner. I just use a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to look up. 
get this. The tap it out song. Wow. <laughs> she, uh, Jeannie was like, yep, it's crazy, but it worked. Um, Jeannie's telling me how to get over my allergies. All right. So all I did, I'm using the nude and naughty palette because it has all of these. And I just boop, boop, boop. So there's no pull, you know, as we age. Um, I don't, I don't want to pull them underneath my eyes. That skin is thinner. That's why we have dark circles and blah, blah, blah. That skin is thin and delicate. So I, I want to do very little underneath. Oh, it is. It's our Lion King. I use it as my up close mirror. So I can see. Um, but um, that's why local honey has some. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, I'm going to do my liner real quick, which I did have some on. I'll do that. And there we go. And then today I'm going to use our lip jelly. Cindy says she loves using the eyeshadow for eyeliner because there's so many choices. Endless. You can also wet the brush and um, it's a little bit, it's almost like a wet the brush, then put it in the eyeshadow and it's a little creamier, a little bolder than, um, than the um, just using the powder. Mary, I just used the um, the nude and naughty. It was like I put it in like two browns. <laughs> I always mix colors. Oh, lip liner. It was Dusty Rose. It's the only. It's pretty much what I use every single day. I love Dusty Rose with just lip jelly. Dusty Rose with nothing. Dusty Rose with a gloss. Dusty Rose. <laughs> I use Dusty Rose all the time. Oh, Lord. Oh, YouTube. The YouTubers are um, helping me with my allergies. Um, Joan's like, or you can get shots for, um, for shots each week for three weeks. Joan, believe it or not, I have tried shots. Um, and they don't work for me. I'm sure you have some uh, stash, Mary. <laughs> All right. I'm going to finish up with my mascara and then I will be good for today. But the, the whole thing of this live practice, 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 practice with water, practice using the air so you can get that movement and that distance down while watching, watching in the mirror, then airbrush water on your face. You have the distance, you have the speed as far as like, how you move your hands um and then lightly pull back on that trigger another thing one i'll leave you with one last thing is fold up a paper towel put five drops of a foundation preferably one that's not your shade hold it five finger widths away or four finger widths away from the paper towel make your movements and lightly pull back on that trigger and see how well you can airbrush a paper towel what that is going to show you is you, that, oh my gosh, you barely have to pull back on this, or I didn't even think I was pulling back and something's coming out. So that helps us mentally prepare or grasp the airbrushing. Also, when I was telling you to practice on somebody else, it does help. It does help. Oh, Judy's like, yeah, shots don't work. Um, all right. Oh, thank you, Mary. I'm so glad you popped on. Thank you so much for popping on. It's been, it's been a minute. Uh, but yeah, I will, I will talk to you soon. Um, sh should I use a prime on show our most? I don't understand. Should I use a primer? Judy, do you mean, should you use a primer? Like an airbrush primer? Let's talk about, um, Joan, that's awesome. I'm glad it helped for you. Um, 
I think it's because I'm deathly allergic to cats. Like I go into anaphylactic shock. And so I think that's why it doesn't work. Um, so what I would do with the, we have a primer, uh, an airbrush primer. So try it with and try it without see which way you like it. There is a little bit of a primer in the foundation. So sometimes I feel I don't need it as much. The one that I do love is the velvet veil. So if you're using velvet veil, this is a blur. So it's going to help blur fine lines, wrinkles, crinkles, all of that. Um, and so you can use this. You would moisturize your skin first, a little bit of this, then airbrush over it. Um, and Cindy's like, I, I like the moisturizer primer. So she uses, so everybody's skin's different. That's why I'm saying, try it, see if it works for you or try it without, see which way you like it best. Um, it's a great, it's a great moisture. It's a great moisturizer primer. Um, I just, find, cause I do use a lotion, like a moisturizing lotion. And so I just go straight into airbrushing or I use the velvet veil. So it just depends on, on your face on your skin, all of that fun stuff. All right, guys, thank you so much for today. Um, like I said, practice makes perfect, not for days, not for you know months, a couple of times you'll get it down. Thank you, Judy, thank you. I, I need, I feel naked without my mascara, but I'm gonna go put that on. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a great, hopefully, and I'll see you later. Bye for now.